Hey friends, I remember probably over a year ago when I served under Kendall McKenzie in our youth ministry, they implemented something that they asked all of us staff and volunteers to do. And the impact of what they asked us to do has stuck with me ever since. But their encouragement to us was this. Throughout the night, before and after service, as we're engaging and interacting with students, to intentionally offer two compliments. And at that, to try and offer compliments that were more than just surface level observations. Kendall and McKenzie communicated to us staff the vision and heart behind this. That throughout the day at school, amongst their peers, students are almost used to a way of interacting that's not the most uplifting in nature. It's almost commonplace for students to give each other a hard time about a lot of things as just a normal way of interacting, or worse yet, some make fun of one another. Point being, students have grown accustomed to this atmosphere. And the point that was conveyed to us staff was that when students come to Rev City Youth, they would feel such a positive difference as they walk into an atmosphere that contrasts to what they're used to. An atmosphere that is uplifting is an encouraging place to be. It's attractive and positive, and it points to a God that is all of those things. It points to a God that is loving. I sometimes think back to this small practice that we were asked to do, and I'm motivated and encouraged to want to adopt that way of interacting. And by that, I just mean looking for ways to uplift people. I don't think I've fully committed to this or really adopted this way of always operating, but I want to. And I think it's just committing to having a mindset of being aware, taking notice of things about others, being willing to offer small remarks that would be uplifting, and doing small acts of kindness that might cause others to feel seen, cared about, and valued. All for the purpose of pointing to Jesus and being an extension of His love. John 13, 35 says, By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. It really seems like sometimes the simplest applications of love can really impact people. It's true of me. Simple remarks can really impact me. Proverbs 16, 24, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. And I believe it's true. Sometimes the simplest remarks are what stay in people's memory bank. I've heard it said before that expectations determine how we receive and process information. So when we've grown accustomed to environments in the world that aren't the most uplifting in nature, small remarks of encouragement that add value to people really contrast with our expectations and cause us to receive it with more of an appreciation. And this simply allows us to reflect our Savior, that is Jesus, who is very different from the world. So I encourage and challenge us to demonstrate love to one another in these simple ways. I think that it opens the door for all of us to experience the love that Jesus offers through one another.